What's up folks? Happy Halloween. It's Sunday. It's like 3.15 and I got some homestead chores to do. I want to move the coop. I got to check on the meat birds, mama hen, got a broody hen. While I do that, I'm going to address a q and I've been talking about for like a year now. I don't have a lot of questions. But I'm going to try to answer some of them that I've come across. So as you can tell, these guys have worn this spot down. They've tilled it up, fertilized it real good. Time for them to move for show. Sure. Plan is to try to move them up to this area next. I'm probably going to have to slide this coop backwards turn it and then bring it up this corner so that the fence can actually run over and around over there which is going to be a task but we're going to try it what are you doing oh booty mama i only got one leghorn left if you watched my last video i'll link it i was uh my birds were getting killed. I couldn't figure it out and they were getting killed in the, the little chicken track and I set a trap out Never caught anything, but then all of a sudden up here in the main coop. They started coming up missing the Leghorns one a night just boom 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 gone and then I, I couldn't figure it out And I leave this door open at night because I have this fence and all of the protection I didn't think nothing of it and Dalton is the one that told me it was probably an owl so one night I come out here because I forgot. I decided to start shutting the door. I came out here, it was about eight o'clock, and an owl flew out. I seen him, big old full grown owl, and one of my Sussex, I think it was the sick mama, was dead. Head gone, too late. So I have one Sussex left, three Rhode Island red hens, Rhode Island red rooster. Uh, well, no, two Sussex left because I got one three. Sorry. Got one there, one sitting on eggs, it's broody, and one mama over there. So that's three. I got three leghorns. I mean three. Jeez, I'm doing a horrible job with this. Three reds, one rooster, and one leghorn left. And then I got 48 of the meat birds. And they're gonna be going to butcher in about a week. Less than a week. One of the questions I was asked is uh, the coops insulated and they are not. The hen house that the mama's in up there is not insulated, just wood chips for, for bedding. Same thing with this guy here. It's not insulated, just wood chips. Another question I was asked, what I'm gonna do for winter? And that is a good question. I've done a ton of research and from what I can tell most chickens are pretty hardy when it comes to freezing weather. They say just keep them dry. Outside of that they usually do pretty good. What I thought about doing was mounting a uh, heat lamp inside the coop. See they roost up here on this 2x4 and on that one down there so I thought about maybe right up here putting a heat lamp and let it kind of shine down on them and that would keep them fairly warm or put it inside the enclosed area in here where it would actually hold a little bit of heat potentially if i can get them to roost in there they've roosted all their lives out there in the fenced area so i don't know i don't know Last year, I know mom's uh, chickens survived the whole winter. There was even a point where it was just like snow and ice everywhere. The chickens were out in it and they were fine. I mean, I don't think she lost any of them due to the cold. I think the biggest battle is going to be keeping their water from freezing. And I might hang some plywood around this. I haven't really figured it out yet. So 
So this is gonna be quite tricky because I usually pull them forward. I gotta pull them backwards first and then turn them. It's gonna be pretty new. We'll see how it goes. Last time I tried to do this like thing where I kept the birds inside and then I moved the fence according to where I was and it was a disaster. <sighs> you know what would be really good is if I could set it right here. Then I know the fence would wrap the whole thing. That means I would have to drive across the sweet potatoes. I don't know if Hanky liked that very much. So the idea here is I gotta turn this guy. I'm only hooking this one corner, hoping that as I pull, it turns. It's really been raining like crazy around here for the last week, so it's really, I had to put it four wheel drive a minute ago. So pray for me. Next tricky part is getting this fence laid out just right. Now I have to fight with it for an hour. It's tricky because I don't want it to be all up in the high grass and constantly, you know, grounding out. But I know where it starts and I know where it stops. I'm just not 100% sure exactly how it's gonna stretch in between. I've been meaning to buy a whole lot more so that I could actually like do this whole garden in one circle. Rudy Mama made it the whole way. Another question that I got was the difference between raising meat birds and laying hens. It's night and day, completely different. You know, feeding the, the, the meat birds, I get up every morning, you gotta pull out their, their water and their feed and their grit and move them. They've pooped everywhere. You gotta feed them almost twice a day water them at least once a day. For the laying hens, you fill up their big thing of food and it could last them a week with six, seven birds. Go out, check on their eggs, get them a big two and a half gallon water jug and keep that full once a week. And they just do their thing. You give them enough room to get bugs and, and kick around in the dirt and find worms. You just come out and hang out with them every day. Where the meat birds, you got to tend to them every day. It's a lot different, but you get six pounds of meat out of each meat bird and you just get an egg every day out of, you know, there's a trade off again. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, probably forgetting some questions. Um, never done a Q and A before, so forgive me. Uh, please leave me some more questions and uh, I'll try to do better next time. Or I'll just answer them as I vlog. I'm better at that. Rather than trying to do like a s actual Q and A, you know, I, I'll keep up with the questions as they come and that'd probably be better, I think. I hope y'all are doing well. Happy Halloween. Thanks for hanging out with me. God willing, see y'all in the next one.